This video tutorial focuses on Ashampoo Photo Organizer Pro, the new way to manage your photos. With this program, you can easily and flexibly manage and reorganize your photos. I will primarily demonstrate the new features of the Pro version, which includes sorting out images, finding duplicates, quickly searching for photos using keywords, and much more. Enjoy watching. I have started the program and am now linking my folder where my photos are stored. These can be local folders or cloud services like OneDrive or Dropbox. In my example, it is a local folder. Of course, multiple folders can be connected as well. Immediately afterwards, all photos will be displayed, allowing you to verify if they are the correct images and if the right folder has been linked. If you have linked a folder with many photos, the next step is to sort through them. This involves deciding which photos to keep and which to move in the recycle bin. Often, there are similar photos or ones of poor quality, which can be quickly filtered out here. By clicking Culling in the left menu, you will see how many photos still need to be reviewed. Another click on Clean Up Now will immediately display the first photo. You can then decide whether to keep or delete the photo by hovering over the two icons with your mouse. This process can be expedited using the T key to keep or the X key to delete. Deleting means the photo is initially placed in the recycle bin. You can later decide whether to permanently keep or discard these photos. If you're unsure, you can simply skip the photo by clicking the double arrow on the right. At the end, you will receive a brief summary of how many photos were accepted, rejected, or skipped. After reviewing my photos briefly, I now want to remove the duplicates. Duplicates can be identified and sorted out either through all photos or the duplicates function. In the photo organizer, duplicates are automatically grouped. When you click on all photos, you can identify these duplicates by the plus one or plus two number at the bottom right of the respective image. Clicking on this group opens the photo. In the so-called film strip, where photos are displayed in a sequence like a film strip, the photos from the group are marked with a blue line. I will now close this view to show you the function for duplicates. I will start the duplicates function from the left menu. Here, duplicates also include similar photos. If you don't want this, you can disable it. I see the duplicates displayed as a group and click on a photo from the group to select the best image. You can navigate back and forth using the cursor keys. On a touchpad or touchscreen, you can swipe to do this. When choosing which photo to delete, the focus assessment can help, especially with portraits or photos with people. This function shows you which shots have the sharpest faces. Here is an example with a portrait where one face is blurry and the other is not. This allows me to quickly decide which photo can be deleted. With that, I have completed the cleaning of my photos. To quickly select my photos, there is an option to rate them. You can give up to five stars and the higher the rating, the higher the photos appear when searching for top photos. You can easily rate the photos via all photos. Click on the photo and then select the rating at the bottom right. Use the top left arrow to return to the overview of all photos. By clicking on Top Photos, you'll now see a selection of the best photos. You can adjust the number of displayed photos using the slider. Using Select, you can now click on individual photos and choose further actions like Save As, Open in an External Editor, or Assign to an Album. Next, I would like to show you how to add tags to your photos so you can quickly find and organize them later. To do this, open a photo with a click and then go to Keywords. In the bottom left, you will see the keywords you have already assigned to other photos. Here, you can add new keywords or assign existing ones to the photo. 
In my example, I am assigning animal and dog to the photo. This way, I can later search for the photo using these keywords. I will demonstrate this with an example of a dog. Through the search function, you can now filter photos by keywords and then select, share, etc. You can also filter by date, year, or ratings. Additional search options can be found directly under Search. Now, I would like to show you how to rename photos uniformly. To do this, go to the Rename function. At the top, a template will be suggested for you to rename your photos uniformly. You can adjust this template according to the given schema. In my example, I will use the suggested template and click on Rename. And just like that, my photos have a uniform file name. Lastly, I want to show you how to create an album. Simply create a new album from the left menu by clicking on New Album. Then, assign a name to it. You can now add your photos to an album individually through All Photos. Or drag and drop them onto the album name. Alternatively, you can create the album directly by selecting the photos. Let me quickly demonstrate this for you. That concludes the brief introduction to the new features of a Shampoo Photo Organizer Pro. We hope you enjoy organizing your photos. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you won't miss any new videos. Goodbye and see you next time.